Hey guys, Justin here from Game Time Edits, giving you guys the skills, hints, and tips that you need to pump up the quality of your content creation. In this video, we're going to talk about prioritizing your audio tracks. Some audio assets to consider in your video edits is music, voiceover, game effects. All the music, sound, and noises can really combat each other within a video clip if not balanced correctly. When I'm manually mixing down my videos, I create a priority order. What would the listener like to hear the most? How do we synergize our audio tracks with one another to create a really nice listening experience for the viewer? Come with me and jump in Premiere Pro and I'll show you how. On my timeline, I have three separate audio tracks. One for my Hearthstone game effects, one for my voiceover, and one for my music. You can rename the tracks by right-clicking on the track name to the left. You can also change the color of the track by selecting, right-clicking, and choosing a color in the Label drop-down menu. So what I've basically dropped down is my vision and three audio tracks onto the timeline. Not modifying or adjusting them in any way. Have a listen to what it sounds like. So my first game was Spell Druid, but I knew I was already out of the game as my hunter oh, started flooding the floor. Turn 7. Yeah, I'm not even going to finish playing this through. Each audio track is at war with one another, and a priority order needs to be set before we balance our audio tracks. Let's start with the music. There are two ways we can go about it. I can simply drag and drop down the audio connector line to reduce the volume of my music. Alternatively, I can right click, select audio gain, and reduce the amount of gain the track has to a decibel level more to my liking. The music is now doing what music should be doing, creating a nice mood for my video in the background. Next up is the Hearthstone sound effects. Like before, I'm going to reduce the decibel level through audio gain. As my game sound effects are in separate clips on my timeline, I can select them all, head to audio gain, and reduce the gain enough that it will be quieter than my voice, but louder than my music. The next step requires some attention to detail. We want to raise the volume of our Hearthstone sound effects when the voiceover isn't talking by rubber banding our audio between voice lines. For more on Adobe Premiere Pro rubber banding, check out my previous video on audio keyframe rubber banding by clicking the following link. Now check out my timeline. I have raised the volume up of my game sound effects in between my voiceover to create sound bites. Let's have a listen. So my first game was Spell Druid, and I knew I was already out of the game as my hunter companion started flooding the board. Turn seven. Great, we are almost there. My voiceover is still a little hot, so now I'm going to slightly reduce the gain by a fraction. So my first game was Spell Druid, and I knew I was already out of the game as my hunter companion started flooding the board. Turn 7 is where I turn things around, thanks to a well-timed exotic mount seller. The perfect card for evening the odds. I was able to take control relatively easily before turn 10, forcing my opponent to concede. Face was the place for game two as my hunter got its phase door get into place. Blowfly Swarm took control of the game for my opponent, but it was nothing my fire trap couldn't handle. Terran was in full swing, ready for lethal. King Ferris offered nothing to my opponent and went on to concede the game. I can My video now sounds a great deal better, all through prioritizing my audio and making the necessary adjustments when balancing. 
For you Sony Vegas legends out there, remember to hit V to bring up your volume adjustment line. Then double click to create audio keyframes. Renaming audio tracks can be done on the tracks side panel. For questions or additional information, drop us a line in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to GameTime Edits.